Yeah. All right. So so we got four times five three quarters plus six times three and five six. So yeah, let's uh, everybody let's try the first step. What do you want to try first? Yep. Good idea. Yeah. So what our students might think is, you know, let's turn both of these numbers into a fraction so that we can then multiply it. Because multiplying fractions is fun times. Because it's just multiply the tops, multiply the bottoms. So we can turn 4 into 4 over 1 and this into an improper fraction. 4 fives is 20. 20 and 3 is 23. 23 quarters. If you had five dollars uh, and tw and three quarters, which is like 75 cents, you know, that's actually like how many quarters is that? It's well, there's 20 quarters in the five dollars, and then you got three more, so you got 23 quarters. So if you, you had five dollars 75, that'd be 23 quarters. Anyway, um, and similarly, let's turn these into fractions. So six becomes lovely. Yeah, so 3 and 5, 6. 6 times 3 is 18. 18 and 5 is 23. 23 sixths. And um, now, this is fun times because we can multiply fractions, and before we multiply fractions, we can cross-cancel. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The 6 is cross-cancel here. So we get 1 times 23 over 1 times 1, which makes... Yeah, 23 over 1, yeah. Yeah, and this is also 1 times 23, 23 over 1 times 1, which is, 20, which is 1. So so we just have, yep, yep. So just like 23 plus 23, which is 46, exactly. And there's lots of other ways of doing this. This is not necessarily the correct way. I mean, you could have, if you wanted to, written five and three quarters is five plus three quarters because that's what it is like five dollars seventy five is five dollars plus three quarters of a dollar right uh you could have then done the distributive property four times five is twenty and then we have four over one times three over four and the fours cross cancel look at that and now you got twenty plus three which is which is kind of what we're looking for, because that's what it became when we did it that way, right? And then you had a six, and by the way, three, this is three plus five sixths. Now if I multiply the six in, I get 18 plus six over one times five over six, right? And um, so this is 18 plus, and nicely, six is cross cancel here, right? And that's just uh, 5 over 1 or 5. And 18 plus 5. So there's our 23. Lovely. 23 and 23. 46. And so, you know, again, with these problems, students are always saying to me, hey, you know, I can't remember the way you wanted me to do it. You know, I don't really care as long as you get 46. You do it any way you want. I mean, I, I love it when students do it their own way because it shows understanding I think this is the most efficient way. It's kind of straightforward. It's probably a good rule of thumb that when you're when you're multiplying a mixed number times a, a fraction or a regular number, you might want to just turn them both into fractions and then do some cross cancelling. It's just kind of, uh, yeah, it's probably the nicest way. But this way is perfectly great as well. But m my point is this: if you guys get the right answer, you're understanding it. So that's the good part. So. Yeah, right, show your steps, understand what's going on, realize that what five and three quarters actually is, you know, that's what I'm looking for. I'd be happy. <laughs>